In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create roadmaps in Jira. So basically a roadmap is a overview, a graphical overview of the project's goals. And it's usually presented on the timeline here. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your timeline here and we're going to create an epic. So an epic is like a major milestone. So let's say we have one here. So we'll create three, let's say design, development, and then we can say release. Let's say that for example, as our three major milestones. So what we can do here is we can say design. We want it to take from June to August. So we'll click and drag this, say it takes 35 days, boom. Now development, let's put this one like here, so it's 22. And then release, let's say like this for example. You can just click and drag these on and put the dates in like this. And now down here you can look at this view in weeks, days, months, quarters, depending on how far out your project needs to be. And now inside here, you can put some more um, specifications for each milestone. So you can click create child issue. So design the login page would be one. And then from in here, you can set that to the dates you need that to be. So we can click and drag that into here. Then we could put another one. So we could say create app UI, whatever you're doing. And we could put a create success page, let's say. These will be the child's, the child tasks underneath the main one. And then we want to fill every single one of these in with every single little bit of information for, or every single little task for each different one. And that's basically the roadmap made. As you can see, it's very straightforward, easy to see, and keeps things very organized. You know, you've got to-dos here, you can put things in progress, done. You can do the actions, whatever automations you want. You can put some descriptions here. You can assign it to different people. You can comment on it. There's tons of different things you can do here. And now what we can do, if you look here, we can go over to board. And on the board, it's going to list out these parts that need to be done. And, um, you know, when they're being done, someone can drag it across the in progress and they can start working on it. And it will update in here. So it's very, very good. And then let's say we've done, let's say these two are completed. We can go over to timeline here. We can go to view settings and there's tons of different things here. But if you look here for progress, we can see that the design bar is nearly done. So it shows the progress of it here, shows what needs to be done. And then you can, because you can see it matched up with these. And then once the time frame for development comes in, then you'll be able to edit those and it will have the same sort of look. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.